Hey friends, uh, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Christina. I am an intuitive energy healer, reader, channeler, spiritual teacher, ultimately just your friend trying to guide you through your spiritual awakening. And I'm in a different setting today. I'm actually traveling through Malaysia. It's been super freaking fun this time around. I've actually been here um, like three or four times but this time I'm just having so much fun like trying all the different types of foods and walking around and it's just been really cool so that's why I'm trying a different setup so hopefully this feels like you're just talking to your friend on FaceTime or something and I'll try not to make the table shake too much <laughs> so you know I have been noticing a lot for myself lately about like relationships and it's romantic plus platonic i think i finally realized the importance of relationships in your life like yes they are so important for connection so you don't feel alone so you have your community people where you belong your tribe like this is all we truly want you know as humans we, we want a sense of belonging you know we come from tribes you know back in the day like they had their tribes where everybody helped each other out and made you feel like again you have a place where you belong you have your people that have your back but now, you know, things have changed a lot and a lot of people are isolated more and more. And a big reason is why it's because we start feeling so attacked by each other. We feel judged. We feel hurt. We feel pain from one another. So sometimes we feel like it's just easier to like be alone and to just be by yourself. But I'm starting to see the power of interacting with other people, even if they hurt you. And that's like a topic I guess I had to really understand myself. I grew up extremely sensitive to everything, to just the energy around me, to other people. You could just say something like, you're so stupid, and that was enough to just, oof, make me feel like the worst person in the whole entire world. And I was very guarded for a very long time because of it. I was very choosy on who I let in which uh, I'm not saying there's anything necessarily wrong with that. You should be very choosy with your energy and who you let in, but not from a place of fear. You know, it should be more of a place of, because I respect myself, because I love myself, I'm not gonna allow people to mistreat me. But the point of all this is what I'm trying to get to is how important relationships really are, if, like especially when people are hurting you. So in the past, like maybe week, I've had three different encounters where I get triggered by other people. And I started looking more into that, like, why am I getting so upset by this? What, what does this mean to me? What is this trying to show me? What is this trying to teach me? And I realized that people are showing me what I need to work on. That's what relationships are, either uh, romantic or platonic. Relationships are a mirror. They're showing you the parts of you that you're not, uh, that you're not aware of. They're showing you the things that need your healing that needs your love that needs your attention so I'll use myself an example you know my husband like brought up that he wanted to for us to record like a meditation together it's something that we've been doing lately and I haven't been feeling very inspired by it I haven't really been feeling like I wanted to um, it just in our like setup it's kind of hard in our apartment so I just haven't really felt like it and of course he was just a bummed about it and he was expressing how you know it really bummed him out and things like that and it made me feel so upset and I was wondering like wait why like, why am I getting so upset like he's just telling me how he feels and I started looking within myself of like oh it's bothering me because I feel that if I don't show up for people in a certain way I'm letting them down therefore I'm a bad person therefore I don't deserve love you know it's like I'm getting deprived of love because I'm not performing for other people or I'm not showing up for them the way they want me to or I'm not meeting other people's expectations and that like really it, it was like so many emotions it like made me sad because I'm like oh my god now I don't deserve love but it also made me so angry of like I'm so tired of feeling like I have to show up for people in a certain way in order for them to love me to appreciate me to whatever and again that was not even happening with my husband he was literally just like oh it just you know bumps me out I really want to start doing this whatever you know but it, it triggered so much inside of me I was like freaking out in a sense I was just feeling so many different types of emotions 
and again I was like looking through that like what is happening and then then there was like two other occasions with other people like just acquaintances that made me feel that same way like oh I have to show up for people in a certain way because they already have these expectations of me because they know me they think that they have access to me because they know me I should just be showing up for them because they know me they want information out of me and that made me really mad and I was like I'm so tired of feeling like this I'm so tired and I was like getting mad at the situation instead of just re realizing like wow there's actually a lot for me to learn here luckily I was able to get there eventually like I did sit with it and I'm like let me walk through these emotions what am I feeling where am I feeling them what's going on what are they trying to tell me and ultimately the message was the same is that I still carry that wound of wanting to be accepted and loved by everybody you know I sacrifice myself or what I want to do in order to make other people happy I again do things I don't want to do just to make sure that other people are okay and that they get out of they get you know that access to me that they want because it's always about them if they're happy then everything's okay but it's like meanwhile I'm not happy and that's the cycle that I've been stuck in for a really long time is putting other people's wants and needs of me first before asking myself like is that okay with me do I even have energy and the want to do that is that coming you know me showing up would that be from a very genuine place or would it be from a people pleaser and desperate for love and desperate desperate for attention and affection so I was able to really work through that and, and let myself cry and release that and again then that realization of just like wow even though these three different situations I could say oh these people were being mean or they were attacking me or they were coming for me or whatever I wanted this you know that scenario or that narrative in my mind to be I could have easily gone that route but that's my ego that's my ego trying to protect me trying to be like see you can't trust people see you can't let people in see they're trying to come for you they're trying to get you instead of just seeing it as like wow thank you for teaching me what I needed to learn about myself thank you for triggering me in a sense because I got to see what needed love I got to see what needed attention I got to see myself truly I see my shadow see a dark part of me that I'm carrying that I wasn't even aware of and I now I'm seeing the power of relationships the power of people like I guess I'm starting to see the the saying of like we all are we are all one is like yeah you know in a sense that is kind of true it's almost like people again are your mirror they're they're showing you like parts of you and that's why sometimes you have like similar wounds similar energy to somebody else it's like everybody that comes into your life comes into your life for a reason to either teach you something show you something be a connection whatever it is they could be showing you like hey look real friendship exists they could be showing you hey you need to learn how to stand up for yourself like especially if you have like you know really rude people in your life that you're like they're always putting me down they're talking to me in such a rude way it's like well maybe they're showing you that one you could be talking to yourself in that same manner you know your inner voice could be just as rude just as mean and you're allowing it and then on top of that it could be teaching you like it's time for you to stand up for yourself you know so there's a lot of connections here the problem is that we our ego likes to just blow up and be like no it's all of them it's their fault they're not okay they do this it's their fault you know um, screw all of them I'm gonna protect myself I'm never letting anybody in and it's like that's gonna lead you to a very lonely life if you keep shutting people out the moment that they hurt you it's about looking at yourself and, and looking at the situation for what it is and asking yourself what is this showing me about myself what is it making me feel what is it trying to teach me what is it trying to tell me how can I alchemize this how can I change it how can I learn from it so I can start doing things differently from a place of more love and self-compassion and, and self-love you know you are allowed to take your power back whenever you want and stop being such a unfortunately to say stop being such a victim you know the world is not out to get you the world is out to teach you and it's up to you how you respond again the universe is just trying to show you the lesson show you your wounds show you what needs healing what needs love and relationships people are a great 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 way to know what needs to be healed what needs to be loved what needs to be looked at relationships are truly our greatest teachers romantic ones 
the most I would say but even just platonic like acquaintances co-workers friends they they, they can all teach you something I just I feel like in romantic relationships or maybe even families you are able to be more vulnerable and they see you more therefore that's why there's more like explosions or more wounds get brought up because with like friends it depends how close you are with friends but acquaintances co-workers it's like you keep it pretty surface level they could still get you you know they could someone can still make you feel superior i mean inferior i guess you could feel superior to other people these things could still happen but i think with romantic relationships and families like you kind of get to be more vulnerable and they see you more and they can see your insecurities and sometimes people use that to weaponize it against you but the point is is that you have the power to say okay this is something i need to heal how can i heal it what can i do how do i feel about the, all this give yourself that love that recognition that validation that you've always needed and then you can take action okay then you can t ask yourself do i need to separate myself from this person do i need to block them do i need to talk to them you know it's a big one everybody's always so quick to like run away from people and just like i'm done with them they hurt me i'm never talking to them again it's like no have an open honest discussion if it's someone that really means something to you it's like just talk to them ask them how do you feel about this this is what happened to me this is how i felt in that interaction um you know i don't appreciate when you yell at me it makes me feel like you don't respect me and you know it's just finding a more vulnerable way of communicating a more honest and real way of expressing yourself that's when you can get to like the real gold i would say but it's and and if you have that conversation with them like hey i really don't like when you yell at me because it makes me feel disrespected can you please find a way to calm yourself down or leave the room if you're too angry like can we find different ways and if they're willing to work with you and they're like okay yes what can we figure out what are the steps then it's like someone worth keeping around if they're like oh you're being a baby you're so dramatic you're so ridiculous then that would probably be your sign as to maybe this person's not meant to be in your life but the point of all this is i can ramble on forever like i always do but i just wanted to mention that start looking at the relationships around you start looking at the people around you especially the people that make you feel like shit <laughs> like what are they trying to teach you what are they mirroring that's within you that's inside of you is there something that needs your healing your attention your love your care and you will probably be very surprised as to what comes across i always say that because i always get surprised when i actually sit with myself and sit with this emotion of like what is this making me feel why am I getting so upset at this situation? Why am I getting so upset with this person? Or why am I getting so sad or whatever? Like I find so many answers and I'm like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. And then moving forward is just a lot easier. So I encourage you to start reflecting, start looking at these relationships, especially the ones again, that make you feel terrible. It's like, why? Why do they make you terrible? Do you feel like what they're saying is true? Okay, then there, maybe there's something that needs to be healed there. Get curious, ask questions, get to know yourself, find your truth, find your gold. You will get, you'll get where you need to be for sure. Honestly, I really do believe that. It's just all about slowing down and asking yourself. Well, I, I really need to wrap this up. <laughs> I keep going on and on. I'm like, I'm done, no, I'm not. Um, but I'm done now. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this style. It's a little bit different, a little bit more laid back, I would say. Let me know what you think down below. Please like, subscribe, share, and hey, hit that notification bell so you can start watching me on the regular. I'm trying to post once a week. So tune in, come on in, come hang out. I'd love to have you here. But yeah, guys, I really do appreciate every single one of you that watches and likes and subscribes and shares and all that good stuff thank you so much i really do love you all truly thank you for being here i appreciate you have a great day bye